Alright, that was a fail. Alright, you guys, what's going on? This is your boy Navilla. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to. I'm gonna go ahead and sum everything in one big giant word. Burn Xbox games, download them, download them, burn them, stealth patch them, and burn them. I don't know why I said burn like three times. But basically, download your game, stealth patch them, and burn them to where everything is all good. You won't get banned on the new LT firmware it's out for your DVD drives. And um, if this tutorial goes good, hopefully, there's a lot of people that like it. I may make some. More tutorials on you know actually flashing your drive because I ordered my CK3 Pro 3. So enough enough chit chat. Let's get to this tutorial. First thing you're gonna need to do is find a website to download your Xbox assholes, ISO. Something I'm saying asshole. All right, there's a really good website I recommend, which is called Xbox 360 ISO. I have it open up right here, and this is a um, this member right here called Zarth. He actually makes some really good posts. I recommend checking out his his um, thread. Just go ahead and sign up on there. It's a really good website. Free, you don't have to pay. Make a account, count, and go to their 60, 360 download section, and then DVD game downloads. If I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry, you guys. I just want to make sure I have enough time in this video to make this whole tut. So, um, you know, head over there, check out the whatever game you want, take the links, and um, I'll show you how to do next the link. And that's basically step one. You know, go on the website, find what games you want. They also have connect games too. Find what games you want. And uh, make sure, depending on if you're if you live in, um, you know, U.S. or whatever, make sure the game is for your console. If you live in the, um, if, if look for a region free game, those will work for anyone. Those are the most recommended games because that way you definitely will make sure the game works for your console region. So um, most games on here are region free. Some aren't though. It just really depends on what the game is. So just make sure you check the game that's for your region. And um, that's really it. Now let's get into the step two of this process. Step two is actually going and using a program to um, download an excessive amount of files which would be these files because whenever you actually type in these URLs I mean you're talking let's see what is it like six or seven six or seven one gigabyte URLs that's gonna take a while you know to download so what I, what I recommend doing most people on this website use Meg upload or file serve so I might recommend buying one of those premium accounts so you can use these with this program it's called J Downloader as you can see right now, I'm actually downloading Army of Two 40th Day. My voice is cracked. <laughs> Army of Two 40th Day, uh, Mafia 2, and Fable 3, I'm pretty sure. And a couple other games I'm waiting. So what you can actually do is you just add the URL, and then you copy and paste the URL that you want. I mean, the, the URLs that are for that game. So you just copy and paste them in there. And then you hit parse URL, URLs. And then it will say Link Grabber, and then it will verify the package. It will be all right there. And then you hit Continue with All. And when you hit Continue with All, you go to your Download tab, and they will be over here. And then you can hit um, play or pause. You know, if you want to pause the download or stop, you want to stop it for later on, but hit play and the download should start going. And it's actually pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. Like today, I've downloaded a total of like six games and I'm downloading more, so it'll be like a total of 10 and it hits 12 o'clock. So, you know, it actually goes very good. And the way I can download so many is because I have a premium account for Mega Upload. If you don't have a premium account, I would recommend, you know, chunking out the change out of your wallet. I think like one month is like 15 or 20 bucks. It may seem a lot, but you know, I would go ahead and go with it. And honestly, I would buy a year membership because I've downloaded, um, I'll show you right here. I have it opened up on my other monitor. This right here is actually Leverage. I've actually downloaded this from the site too. They have tons of shows, TV shows and movies. You know, you can use that with your Mega Upload account, virus free. So it's very good. You know, you get a lot of uses, uses out of it. And a lot of people on YouTube that have other downloads, you know, use Mega Upload. So I would go ahead, get the account, be safe, you know, download your games quick. And, you know, just be safe with it. So go ahead and download a mega upload account. I mean, not download. Do you want a premium? Make it. If you don't, it's just gonna take a really long time to get your downloads to get download all the way. All right. So that's step two of the process. Step three is actually going through and um, patching your games. And what you're gonna need is a program called ABGX360. And I'll show you guys how to actually use this right now. And I'm gonna open up my settings that I have. If I can load them, load my settings that I have. Which are all right? My default settings, which these you use after you check your SS settings. So um, I'm just gonna go through these real quick. You can pause the video. Make sure you have all these exact same. And right here on this little one, it may not be the same depending on your region code, wherever you live. Make sure. But mine, I live in the U.S. So mine's NTS dash U. Live in the U.S. <laughs> all right. And then I'm gonna load my um my SS fix when I fix my SS settings. All right. Make sure these are the same. Pause the video once again, please. I really don't feel like saying these because it'll take way too much time to point all these out. All right, once again, your region code and your preferred language. <laughs> all right, and um, save those settings. The first setting, save them as your default. These right here, make sure you save them as um, SS fix or whatever you want. Something to do with SS that we know it fixes the SS problem. 
Alright, so I already have my SS fix loaded. I'm going to go ahead and load up my asshole that I want to use. And I'll just, I don't know which one I'm going to use for purposes. I mean, we'll just use whatever. <laughs> Alright, we will choose um, NBA 2K11 because I haven't patched that one yet. Alright, so I'm going to use NBA 2K11. And now what you're going to do is go open up your browser, whatever browser you're using. Type in ABGX and actually go to the actual website and go to the verified section. Once you're in the verified section, you're going to type. You're going to want to type in NBA or what, I mean whatever game you want. Sorry about that. NBA 2K11 is what I'm using, so I'm going to type it in. All right, as you can see, pulls up the game name. It's verified. RF means region free, so don't worry about nothing. It works for all regions. And click right here on the side where it has whatever it should have. It may have different numbers, uh, but it's a one for me. All right, and there's SSCRC and the DMI CRC. You just want to go ahead and save both those. I'm going to save them to my desktop. Same for the DMI. Save that too. Save it to my desktop. All right, you can downsize that. Now, now on ABGX, you should already have everything open still. Go to your DMI and go. I mean, go to manually patch. Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead. Go to manually patch. Click on patch DMI and uh, patch SS. Load up your DMI file that you have for your game. There's mine on my desktop. All right, and load up your SS file too, and then hit launch. All right, just wait for it to do its little magic. I'm I'm gonna skip the very end part because it doesn't take way too much time. As you can see right here. Um, checking SS, it's it's um it's so it was already version two, so that's good. And then we went ahead and did it again. Uh, no matter what, even that still says it's, it's version two, go ahead and do it just to be sure to update it to the latest DMI and SS checks. And I'm gonna go ahead and just exit this out because I don't have time to do this for the, the uh, for purposes of the video. All right, now I'm gonna go, now what you wanna do is load up your default settings, which is actually gonna go through and re actually patch the game again that was that those settings I just showed you guys are the fix your SS because you have to fix your SS for the new LT firmware or else it may flag your console or that the game may not actually work so load up your ASO again there it is NBA2K11 um, launch it <laughs> alright it seems everything's valid and right here as you can see the basic stealth check there's the verification and download the actual patch and it downloaded patches everything Alright, checking the CRC, so that's good. I'm gonna go and let that run so that way yeah, I can actually have it patched for later on when I burn it. Bur uh, burn it. But we just cracked again, but I have a little cold. Alright. Now the uh, what is that? Step four? Alright, now step four of this tutorial. Um you what you're gonna need to do, sorry for saying mom, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. You're gonna need to download this program called Image Burn. It's I M G B U R N Image Burn. And what this will allow you to do is actually burn your Xbox 360 game. And um it actually lets you burn it in the amount of sector layers that needs to be burned. And if it won't load, then I'm gonna have to do this. All right, I'll have to do this then. All right, here it is right here. Image burn. <laughs> All right, it's loading right now. I'm going to close it up. A G A B G X. All right, here it is. As you can see, here's image burn right here. I'll put all the links, everything, just so you guys know how to be helpful. Yeah, I'll put everything down on the bottom, um, the description and everything you need to do. You need to have, I mean, download. All right, first thing to do is click on the tools little tab bar, go to settings, go to right, and go make sure it's user specified and put it as this. Make sure there's sectors and layer, yeah, and the LO are one nine one three seven six zero. I'll say it again, one nine one three seven six zero. Those are actual Microsoft right layers that they use for their disk. All right, and this is very important. You'll make sure you get this right whenever you're going to download your game, burn your game. And you click open. I'll make sure that again. You're gonna click the little magnifying glass to open your actual game. Make sure you uh, open up your .dvd file. So let's see. And actually, there should be one no matter what because AB ABGX creates that. So here's my .dvd file from Bay 2 11 I'm gonna hit open. All right. Put my write speed as 2.4, and that's really it. You're ready to go. You can hit test mode to verify if you want to do that. You don't have to do that. And if you want your white speed to be higher, it, you can probably maybe put it as 3 or 4. I wouldn't recommend it, though. I recommend a 2.4 for a solid burn where there's no errors or anything. And actually, you can hit burn. And this right here, to sum up everything, I basically showed you guys where you can go and burn your games. Not burn them, I'm sorry. Where you can go and download your games. Or you can burn them in an efficient way by using a really cool program called J Downloader. And as I said, I would recommend getting a mega upload account premium. Buying that membership helps a lot. And, um... How to patch your games in ABGX, fix that SS version so you won't get caught and get banned when playing your backed up games, and how to actually burn your game on Image Burn. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was uh, a tutorial by me again. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, please leave any comments. I may put some really in depth tutorials on how to flash 
Java's gotta know how hard it is to come along a good title like that on the, with a new LT firmware. So that's it. I'm out. Hope you guys enjoy this.